Hey everyone, my name is Ronak and this is Python programming tutorials right from the scratch. This is tutorial number 11 and in this tutorial I would like to talk about the inheritance. Now this is one of the most important concepts associated with the object oriented functionalities. So what really inheritance is? Inheritance in a general term represents that some traits or the abilities of something have been transcended to their children so this can be a relative term in the field of the programming so what uh, so basically we can use this for transcending the ability of one class to the other so so this basically follows parent and child relationship a better representation can be given like this so and uh, we can say that forgive my bad handwriting I hope you are able to see this <laughs> uh, parent and child okay so the uh, the abilities of the parent transcend to the child so these are two classes class parent and class child and once we uh, and once we assign the values of the parent to the child what we can do is we can just call the child class and access the uh, abilities of the parents so let's see this through an example don't save okay so let's make a class and the thing over here is uh, when it is about inheritance the syntax of the class changes a little bit so right after you type the class and class name I would recommend you to type round braces colon so that's the syntax and let's make a function so let's say function 1 and self and let's print out something so let's say this is the parent class now let's make a child class now in these round braces we have to mention the class that we want to inherit so the name of my parent class is parent so I include the name parent over here now let's make a function so let's say def2 self and let's say print this is the child class okay what I have done is I have inherited the abilities of the parent class so this is the object of the parent class the f1 the function I have inherited it in here so whenever I create object of the child class so let me create object of the child class the what I can do is using this object I can call this function so first of all let's call the function of the child class itself so it is f2 and uh, let's run this yeah cool in the same manner we can say c dot f1 and the output of the parent class is over here so this actually proves to be pretty useful because we need not create a separate object for the parent class otherwise we uh, would have to create a separate object for the parent class and there would have been two objects with two different separate methods but in this case one object accesses both the methods so this is the general idea of the inheritance 
I actually decided to cover uh, another concept known as the multiple inheritance in another tutorial but that concept pretty much seems simple so what I would do is I would cover it in this tutorial itself so let me comment over here that inheritance one more thing over here we can also use the constructors so actually I haven't tried this but let's give it a try yeah it works so let's comment it out and then uh, we will go on to the multiple linear returns because I just don't uh, want you to get confused because this is totally different concept like a little bit of modification multiple inheritance okay good so the thing with the multiple inheritance is that two parents two parents are embedded within one child and that one child is operating uh, like that one child is possessing the uh, possessing both the abilities of the parents so let me draw this so let's say like this like this and like this this is a general thing so like this and like this and let's say uh, what I can say is uh, this is one parent parent one this is parent two and this is the child so what basically is happening over here is the abilities of the P1 and P2 both are embedded within the C2 so a single child is possessing both the abilities of the parents and we can access two parent classes using one child so this is the general idea of the multiple linear returns so let's implement the code now uh, we can do this by an example so let's say uh, class okay machine learning and uh, let's make a function so let's say if one two self and let's print it out so let's say this is machine learning machine learning is uh, one of the scopes that uh, is pretty much trending topic and python is uh, one of the languages that is being used for machine learning and uh, let's say web web development class oops class web development and let's make a function over here saying self and let's print it out so or so let's say a flask and django are python web frameworks alright so I have created the two classes class machine learning and class uh, web development and now these two classes I will be embedding within a single class so let's say class Python and now this single class takes uh, two parameters that is two classes so machine learning and web dev 
and now what I have to do is uh, I would just say pass this simply means that whatever over here uh, like don't do anything just pass the values now let's create an object for class python and now let's try to access the elements so these are the elements so I hope this outputs yeah so this class python holds the abilities like the objects of the class machine learning and class web development and once we call the functions associated with those classes they are inherited in this one and they have been printed so this is the basic idea of the multiple inheritance you can even try a constructor I hope this prints and let's say let's run this yeah so this is the general overview of the multiple inheritance like the whole inheritance thing and uh, in the next tutorial I will be covering something known as modules and we will uh, dive deep into the modules the importance of the models and what they are used for but till then uh, I would suggest you to give you a try to the inner returns keep trying keep practicing uh, thank you for watching goodbye